Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. As you can see, I've packed up camp. It's all packed away. It's a beautiful day here today, but the wind's gonna be picking up. And as you can see, a lot of us have already pulled out. Just a few of us are gonna be staying behind. I'm actually excited to get back on the road. We're gonna head up north. We had gone to Lake Havasu, but it was only for a week. Um, we're gonna go and celebrate John's birthday, which is coming up on the 11th. So we're gonna head back up to Lake Havasu for a little bit and then probably go to Tucson. Bye, oh wonderful, awesome place. It's been fun. Mumu in her normal position. <laughs> I see you looking at me. At least you can see out. Say bye to the beautiful view, Mumu. Wow, look how empty it looks. All right, let's get going. Onward bound. Bye. I said, are you coming up there later? Okay, well, I'll see you in a couple days. I hope your back feels better. What? No, oh, it did fix it? Nice. Awesome. All right, safe travels. All right, we have everything dumped and fresh water filled. Time to head back to the court site. Got to stay there for a couple days. Aja, Aja, radio check. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so. This is draft. I'm all ready too. Okay, everybody's ready. I have to stay in courtside a couple days because I have packages coming. Roger, ready to go. Okay, let's go. Don't taste me rushing. Keep your words naked. You got me blushing. We made it here to grab steaks. We're gonna grab some food and some drinks. We're meeting some friends here. I've actually been here twice before, but um, I haven't been here in a while, so it's good to be back. Smile, I'm on camera. Holy cow, girl, what is that? <laughs> that is the jumbo seafood platter. It's huge. It four, she wasn't kidding. Yeah, John said that's a heart attack on a platter. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bunch of yummy goodness on a platter. It's so good. Yeah, it looks good. It's and everything is deep fried. And it's like the fish, like literally, oh, oh heart. Wow. Come on, squeeze in. Squeeze in. Everybody say peace. Peace. 
Because she is, are they so awesome here? They actually paid for all our food and drinks. That was so amazing. I can't believe they did that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're on our way home. We did end up tipping her really big since she was so great and, and paid for everything. We do appreciate it. Holy cow, that moon is huge. This is after the full moon. Awesome. Hey girl. This is one I did. Hey girl. <laughs> this one you did? You are like a ninja, Aja. I'm a ninja. I'm quite are a you a ninja? <laughs> Find a woman, you'll find 
That would be epic. <laughs> Might help. Now we continue. Right. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> just in case you have the urge to get in your tennis for costume. Because the thing's epic. laziness just lazy okay I'm here at La Posa South uh, we did stay the night with our friends and we took showers this morning so I want to empty the tanks so there's nothing there and I don't have to worry about that for a while here's the dump and the fresh water is over there and there's one across the street as well okay well the dump is done that was pretty easy now I'm just gonna go fill up my water and we have a few errands to run here in Quartzsite, and then we're gonna head to Parker. Still in the same position. Yes, you are. You ready to go to Parker? After our errands? Huh? Are you coming, Toast? Hello? <laughs> it's like, no, leave me alone, leave me. I see you trying to wag your tail, it's caught. There, go. There's just one person ahead of me. Thank God there's not a long line. So this shouldn't be too bad. Plus, I just filled my water and we took showers, so I, I don't think I have to fill up that much. At least I don't have to fill up my blue jugs because they're still full. I think he's almost done. Awesome. Oh, I just noticed that there's another one, too. I'm at this one. So I have two long hoses in here just in case, but I made, hold on, get that out. I made this short hose, because most of the time, the distance between the nozzle and the RV isn't too long. So I made this short one, so I don't have to unravel the long one all the time and wind it back up. Works perfect. <laughs> Oops, I should have tightened that a little bit. Across the street there is where the trash is. John was nice enough to take the trash for me. So if you don't know about LTVA, it's long-term visitor area. It's 180 for the season, which is like seven months, or $40 for two weeks. But the sticker I got when I was at the LTVA at Imperial Dam allows me to use the dump and all the facilities here. Okay, off to top off my propane and also my water bottles. 
for drinking. I do separate bottles. I'm gonna go to the RV pit stop. I've actually shown you the place before, so I probably won't film there unless I see something interesting. There's John and Jeff. All right, I'm ready. Well, good thing you're ready, because we've been sitting here waiting. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Just kidding. Went in and they said it's gonna be a five minute wait, so not too bad. I think these people are waiting as well, so I'll have to wait for them and then I can go. I know, um, okay. once I think that white truck is yeah, there, just yeah. So once um, they pull out, okay. then I'll pull on this side. Is that a new wear to wear your face mask uh -huh. on your forehead? You just gotta wear it on your forehead. That way you So that way you remember. have it all the time. <laughs> Goofball. Always. Can you not eat my camera, please? I'm hungry. We're going to lunch after this. Okay. I have a GoPro sandwich. Mm, with that little furry thing on top. <laughs> Dead cat. That does sounds, not. Sounds delicious. Okay. They're just waiting on me. Well, actually, John had to fill his tank too. His portable. So, I've got to go pick up mail. And then we are going to go grab some lunch. Well, that's a big sucker there. That's what Terry and Scott are going to look like. <laughs> Once they get there, oh, oops. Go ahead, come in. A lot of big rigs coming in. All right, I guess we can continue on. Jeff waiting patiently. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for, and it's extension cable for a new controller because the controller on my e-bike messed up or the wires got ripped, but they couldn't take the controller apart because it was um, glued together. So I got a new one, but the cable was too short, so I had to get an extension, and also I promised Bruce that I would pick up his package. John was waiting for a package too because he's um, ordered a voice recorder. He does a podcast, which is called Nomad Happy Hour. And he was waiting on that to come in, but it hadn't shown up yet, so I don't know what we're gonna do, because we have to head to Lake Havasu, or actually Parker today, to meet Terry and Scott. What's that? Did Your package it? didn't come in. It didn't? No. Okay, so, okay. Jeff said he'll meet us over at the Green Restaurant. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'm ready, are you? Yeah. Okay. So we came back here to Times 3 Family Restaurant. One of my favorite restaurants in Portsmouth to come to. Their food's pretty good. <laughs> Times 
times three. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just covering it. I thought you were doing that. <laughs> Look, they have a um, part of the menu for y'all. They got senior and then there's small fry menu. Small fry. <laughs> What you think about that? Tell me what you think about it. <laughs> what do you think about that, huh? Uh, we're covered. We're covered. We got everything. So their special today is the Monster Burrito, and it's nine ninety nine. And uh, what is that? Barbacoa. Beef barbacoa. Beef barbacoa for dinner. It's ten ninety nine. Their soup of the day is chicken tortilla. A thousand desserts. Yes, they do have a lot of desserts here. In the U.S., barbacoa is often prepared with parts from the heads of cattle, such as the cheeks. In northern Mexico, it is, it is also sometimes made from beef head, but more often it is prepared from goat meat. Ew, that doesn't sound pleasant <laughs> And that's the special. Ew. Yeah, then, they, then they season it. They season it. Yeah, I guess the seasoning makes it good. Makes the goat head okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't you want some go ahead? Don't head. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, I gotta cheat them out. Thank Enjoy you so your meal. much. I'll come back and check on you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, guys. So I feel like, look at that. He got a taco salad. That looks amazing. <laughs> now I'm second guessing my tuna melt. <laughs> hey, get back. <laughs> and then John got the club. I got that last time, but he got the sweet potato fries. That looks yummy. Three of them. Yeah. Three of them what? Three club sandwiches. No, it's uh, four. One, two, three. Oh, there is four. Yeah. No. Yes. One, two, oh, three. Yeah, there is four. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't count. I'm gonna need you to get your math skills in order. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna enjoy our food. Oh my god, that was yummy, but as you can see, we do have leftovers. We're gonna be going to Parker and to stay at the casino and I think tonight is the um, steak dinner and it's only $6.95 so we'll probably do that and save these for tomorrow. Alright, John is peeing real quick and then off to Parker we go. Well, if you sit on the side of the camper, there is. Okay. 
Are you stopping here? Yeah. Okay. I figured we could have the steak dinner tonight if y'all want. Okay. Oh. It's only six ninety five. Yeah. I know we had meatloaf last night. How far are you out? Um, we just left Portside. Probably okay. we still have about let's see, um, tw about 30, 30 miles. Okay, I just say there's all kinds of room up on the hill where we're at for you. Um, okay. So. Okay. We'll try to save these spots. Sounds good. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. Bye. bye. All right. Bye. Dave, I would put him out there further. <laughs> Welcome to Parker. Elevation 417, founded in Vehicle. That was for sale. Take the bed off of it and put a box on the back. Yeah, that'd be an awesome rig. Well, we made it to the Blue Water Resort and Casino here at the end of Parker. It's on the north side. Alright, we're here. Usually, Terry and Scott park to the left parking lot. Awesome. You got one of the level spots. Nice. I had to park on the slant last time. <laughs> There's Terry. Keep on coming. Well, we made it safe and sound. Where? I was clearly talking to y'all and you oh. both got out of the, <laughs> the dang I scene. <laughs> well, we made it safe and sound. We made it to the casino. We do have to register though. I'm not sure if I told you the last time we were here, but it is still free to park here. They do require you to register. Go in and sign in and register your vehicle. For seven days. For seven days. But they allow more than that. They said if you need longer, then just come back in and get another one. Yeah, if you're spending money, they'll let you stay longer. <laughs> right, Mumu? Are you ready to get out, huh? What? See Aunt Terry and Uncle Scott. Oh, if you're the... I thought you were talking to me. I was like, what? Were you tired? You slept the whole way. <laughs> now you're hungry. Uh-huh, see? I knew it. Are you done yet? <laughs> done what? Is it ever done? Filming. No. Hi, Moo Moos. <laughs> Tell mommy we're all hungry. It's about time she got here. Oh, I'm not ready to eat yet, though. Not till dinner. We just ate. Oh, that's good, because look at this. Do I look like I'm ready to go anywhere? You said you were hungry. Oh, yes, after I get ready. Well, you've had your close up, because you're really close to my camera. Hey, Lucky. Did you? Did you yep. come to visit Scott and Terry? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, I'm trying to find somewhere to pee. Yep, go in the wash. This works. Huh? We're gonna know. just relax a little bit in our camp chairs and then probably go in in about a half an hour to sign in and register. Well, hey neighbors. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good. We're a little separated. Like, I can reach you. Oh, I can reach, I can reach you. you too. So we've come to the restaurant to have the steak dinner for $6.95. I see you back there. There's a screen. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being slick at all. No, we all have the wrong table. <laughs> We just left the casino and are back on the road. The steak dinner was so yummy last night. It was better than the last time I had it. We've stopped here on the side of the road by the Wildlife Refuge and the Bill Williams River. I couldn't remember the last time what the river was called, but someone reminded me. And this does go, I think, all the way to Williams. Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty out there. 
So the Bill Williams River National Wildlife Refuge protects the largest native stand of cottonwood and willow forest still remaining along the lower Colorado River. Here's some more information about it if you want to pause and read. It's kind of faded, so I'm not sure if you can see that. And here's some information on who Bill Williams was. Ooh, look at a pupfish. That's beautiful. I've showed you this side before. That's actually the Colorado comes through there. And then this, this is the start of Lake Havasu. And the Bill Williams is a feed off of that. And continues that way. Don't be dangerous. Look, that cactus up there, it's pointing that way. He needs a cowboy hat. I know, we should go put one on him. Anywho, we're gonna be getting back on the road and heading to Lake Havasu. Uh, we're only like about 30 miles away. All right. Getting back on the road. Like I said, we're only about 30 miles away from Havasu. Welcome to Lake Havasu, elevation 575, and founded in 1964. We are leaving Walmart now. Picked up some supplies, food and stuff like that, so we don't have to keep on running into town. But if I do need to come in, I do have my side-by-side, -side, so it's all good. We're headed out to Craggy now. Actually haven't camped at Craggy since ugh, like early last year. Because so the last time we were here at Havasu, we just stayed a couple days at the slab. And that's on the south end. We're on the north end of Havasu now by Walmart and the airport and all that. So Craggy is about a mile from here to the left. We should be there shortly. Once you get to the end of the airport, fence stops, and this is the entrance for Craggy. Free 14 day stay. All this up to one mile, you cannot camp in. You have to wait till the road curves and that's where camping. But I see somebody camped up here. You're not supposed to do that. And also you're not supposed to leave anything unattended for 24 hours, but I'm sure people do that. Yeah, I see two people up here. Now these people look like they're actually camping and we're not one mile in yet. Now right here, going to curve and this is actually where Craggy starts, which is one mile in. It's awful windy today. And this is normally where we camp, is up front, but we're going to go to our old spot, which is, I believe it's about three miles back. So I'm going to just take my time getting back there. Yep, this is where it starts. Oops. Thank Mumu. It's kind of busy back here. Yeah, it's definitely busy. I recognize some of the rigs that are back here. It is really beautiful back here, but if you need signal, it's hard to get back here, either at the front or where we're going about three miles back. It opens up and you can get signal there. But yeah, if you need um, internet for work or whatever, then it's not good to camp in this middle section. It's just, you can't get any service. This is usually where the camp host stays, right here by this sign, 14 day camping limit, 
I don't see no camp stuff. They usually have um, a sign up, but there's no sign. And I didn't see a camp post up front either. They might not be on duty just yet. Yeah, this is actually the most rigs I've seen here in a while. I'm going all the way back. Gypsy art. And even more rigs. We're not too far now from where I used to camp. I think the first and second year that I came to Craggy. Let this van go by. Seeming to be less and less vehicles as we get farther back, which is good. Some of the camps that I've passed seem like people have been there for quite a while. They're a little junky. Trash bags out. An air conditioner on the ground. Okay, it's starting to thin out. Awesome. Okay, we are here. Remember this section here. We're gonna get off this main road, which does lead pretty far back. It goes for miles and miles, but it gets pretty rough after this point. We want to actually turn here to the right and then go up. Oh, I see Jimmy. Up ahead, you can actually see where the mountain kind of splits, and you can barely see Lake Havasu, but that mountain's in the way. There's Jimmy to the right. Now I just gotta figure out where we're going to park. All right, Mama, we've made it. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been way back here. What has happened to our RV, Moo Moo? We got three dogs in here. There's Lucky and then Olive chillaxing on her favorite spot, the couch. The RV has gone to the dogs. Moo Moo's like, as long as no one's in my bed, I'm good. It is super windy today. Good thing I parked like I did because that's a good wind block, which is nice. Let me actually get over here where it's not as windy. You're doing lucky. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. And in the next video, I'll be doing some projects. Also, I'll show you around this area, but I'll save that till next time. I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now.